Delta-8 THC is very similar in chemical structure to Delta-9 THC, which is what is commonly known as just THC. The specification of Delta-8, Delta-9, Delta-10, all these variations just came about within the last few years due to the 2018 Farm Bill raising legality to hemp-derived plants as long as it doesn't contain a percentage of THC higher than 0.3% and this is exclusive to Delta 9 THC. Delta 8 has gained popularity over the last couple years due to its legality and due to its psychoactive effects. While it might not have the same potency as Delta 9, I know some people that thoroughly enjoy Delta 8's effects, and for some people who may not be able to handle the intense effects of Delta 9, for some people Delta 8 may even be a more comfortable high than regular THC. Delta 8 is typically derived from hemp through a process called isomerization, where CBD is converted into Delta 8 THC. Another thing to note is there's no such thing truly as Delta 8 flower. You cannot breed flower into producing high amounts of Delta 8. If you purchase Delta 8 flower, it is CBD hemp derived flower that has been sprayed with a Delta 8 additive. I did say that Delta 8 was federally legal under the 2018 Farm Bill, but that does not mean that it is legal in all 50 states. Some states have cracked down on Delta 8. Uh, I know some states even have dispensaries for Delta 8, which is super weird. The legality of Delta 8 will most likely continue to change in the future so just make sure to stay up to date on the rules in your area when it comes to the main difference between delta 8 and delta 9 for end consumers it is really the potency and the effects delta 8 is a much more milder high and like i said some people may enjoy that some people may choose to enjoy delta 8 because delta 9 is illegal where they live so there's different reasons why people may use delta 8 and like CBD and other cannabinoids in the marijuana plant, people are still figuring out if some of these other cannabinoids have medical benefits. Early studies support that Delta-8 may help with things such as anxiety and pain relief. If you are planning on trying Delta-8, I highly recommend doing research on the companies that you're buying them from. There are a ton of companies out there. Some companies will offer COAs, also known as Certificates of Authentication. Those are great. Uh, you definitely wanna check those out. Make sure what you are consuming has no heavy metals, no lead, no anything like that. So COAs are always a good thing. And like I said, just buy from a reputable brand, do your research. And another thing to keep in mind is um, I would go for the live resin uh, versions of Delta 8. If possible, it will include other cannabinoids. It will give you that entourage effect, which helps you feel that high that we get from the typical THC that we all know and love. So if you're looking to enjoy Delta 8 to its fullest experiences, I would say try and get a version that is live resin. And just with like any drug, start off slow, don't overdo it. It also comes in edible forms as well. Uh, that can be something that people tend to overdo. If you eat one, make sure you get the full effects. Don't just be like, oh, it hasn't hit me yet and keep on eating them and then end up in a situation where you feel like you need to go to the hospital. That's never enjoyable. And at the end of the day, we all wanna be safe. Delta, even though it may be more mild, is still a drug and it's going to affect you and it may affect everyone differently. I've had experiences with Delta 8 where it has gotten me high. I've had other experiences where I've consumed it and nothing has happened. So it might just depend on the quality, also the mood essentially it's going to hit everyone differently and yeah just be safe when you are consuming it if you decide to but as for now i think this is a great option for people who cannot consume regular thc due to its legality i definitely think delta 8 has its place in the cannabis community let me know down below how you guys feel about it and what other derivatives you guys would like to learn about i will be covering thcp here soon